It's estimated that as many as one in three indigenous children were stolen in Western Australia and across the country. How could it be a good thing to take children from their parents? I, don't, I just don't... Removal was taking place before we were recognised as citizens. So we had no rights. You weren't human, almost. No. Everything had to be at the whim of the Chief Protector. In this case, was A.O. Neville. So this was his office. The Chief Protector? The Chief Protector. What an irony. Complete strangers went into houses and said, we've come yeah. to remove your children and your oh. children are going to, to, to the mission. Others were kidnapped while they were playing in the park. Oh, my God. And, you know, sadly, some of those kids never saw their parents ever again. Mm. Jim tells me there were almost 200 missions in Western Australia, more than double the amount of any other state. And he and Tony are taking me to see one of them, three hours south of Perth. Hidden away from the rest of society, many children suffered abuse and neglect at the hands of their supposed carers. Mary, Mary Bank. Mary Bank Baptist Mission. Gosh, it's a bleak old place. And I'm shocked to learn this is where Tony himself grew up. Well, I reckon I cried most of the way coming here. How old were you? I was three years of age in 1970 when I came three here. Three years of age? Yeah. Well, they thought what they were doing was in my best interests. I guess what I felt was my heart being shattered, not knowing whether I'll see my mother again or my grandparents. Three? Some families had their children snatched just after birth. As the years went by, I started to realise, and I realised it by looking at the other kids, that we're not leaving. Tony was only released when he turned 18. It's one thing to know about this. It's a completely different experience being here and seeing it face to face, which is why Jim and Tony want the site preserved. I mean, it's a stench that is um, part of the history of this country. I am profoundly shocked, deeply saddened and very, very angry. Getting angry is not going to resolve it, though, for us. It's Australia's history. We need to be able to work through this in the spirit of reconciliation. But we won't get there unless there's truth, justice and healing. We've got to heal from this.